Hi, I'm Nay from Nay's Crafty World and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm setting up my bullet journal for August. For this month's theme, I decided to go for a magical mushroom theme. Everything that I use in this setup will be in the description down below. This month, I am back to using watercolor paint to decorate my spreads. So sit back, relax, maybe get yourself a cup of tea and let's set up my journal for next month. For my first page, I'm making a calendar spread and a social media tracker. I've used this style calendar before in my April setup and I missed using it. So I decided to go back to this style for August. I've already planned everything using a pencil just so that I know where everything is and make sure that it fits correctly on the page. While I'm drawing the table, I'm also starting to draw the mushrooms as well. These mushrooms are supposed to sit just in front of the calendar so that it looks like they're growing out of it. To make sure that I don't make lines where mushrooms are supposed to be, I'm drawing them at the same time. I'm using this calendar to track on what days I post to social media, as well as track the amount of followers or subscribers I have at the beginning of the month, as well as at the end of the month. Now that the art has been drawn in pen, I can start adding watercolor paint. I will be painting using a size zero brush. This brush is thin enough to get into all the small little corners. Usually I paint first and then line the art after, but this way was so much fun. It feels like I'm painting in a coloring book. For the background, I'm using a green paint that I mixed with yellow to lighten it and I'm also diluting it with a lot of water. When you use watercolor paint, it's a good thing to keep in mind that the more water you add, the lighter the paint will be and if you add less water, the darker the paint will be. Once the first layer is finished, I'm going in with the same green but this time with less water so that it's darker. I'm also using a wet on dry blotching method. This is where you kind of tap the brush on the paper and make little blotches with spaces in between them. At the base of the mushroom, I'm adding a muddy green called raw umber. I'm using the same blotching method as before. At the top of the calendar, I'm using the same light green to paint a little hill that the mushroom sits on, repeating the same process as before. The mushrooms themselves are white mushrooms. However, any white object is not just white. There are different colors for reflection and shadows. So firstly, I use the same green as the background, but I'm adding so much water that the green is barely visible. For the gills of the mushroom, which is the underside of the mushroom, I'm using a wet on wet method this is when you add color to an already wet surface. The cap of the mushroom is slightly green to show that it's reflecting the background and the gills are orange because they're in shadow. While I wait for everything to dry completely, I'm going to continue with the calendar days and dates. At the bottom, you can see my social media platforms that I'll be tracking in August. Each platform will have its own color 
and I'll use that color to indicate the days that I'll be posting on those platforms in the calendar by making a dot in the space beneath the date. For my cover page, I'm using a watercolor painting that I painted before. If you'd like to see that video, it will be linked in the description down below. I'm also providing it as a free printable on my Kofi profile. If you'd like to go over there for a free printable, the link is also in the description down below. Now that the cover has been glued to the page, I'm cutting the page to create a little peekaboo to the next page. For the round corner, I'm not going to lie, I just kind of used a pencil and drew it in a few times until it looked round and even enough. For the rest of the corners, I'm using my corner cutter. And of course, now I need to also reopen the ring holes with a hole punch. For the header, I'm first planning it using a pencil and then using my Sakura brush pen to write the month header. The paint is now completely dry and ready for me to add the final layer. To make sure that your paint is fully dry, you can use the back of your hand to feel. If the paper is still cool to the touch, it's not fully dry yet. For the shadows and to help define the gills more, I'm using the color Raw Sienna. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm also adding some shadows on the stalk beneath the cap and also beneath the ring. Anywhere where I think shadows will fall. Finally, we can move on to the next page, the poem page, as well as my habit tracker spread. For those of you that have seen some of my previous setups, you'll know that I love adding meaningful poems as inspiration. For the habit tracker page, I'm adding this brown letter paper with a beautiful border. This paper will be what you see when you are on the cover page. The tracker will be hiding under the cover page. After cutting the habit tracker and gluing it to the paper, I almost instantly didn't like it. So I do end up changing the shape of the habit tracker later in this video. But first, let's get into the poem, Ode to a Mushroom. For a pixie who's caught in a late summer storm and would clearly like an umbrella. For the gnome who's trudged through the wood all night and could use a soft bed poor fella for a squirrel with a book who would like a soft seat in a warm beam of sunshine to read or a fairy in search of a nice shady spot with a troll to plant her spring seeds for an object to paint that is sure to inspire or to pull any grump from the gloom there is nothing that's better in all of the wood than a white speckled red capped mushroom by Laura Javorsky. Okay, so it's the next day and I am continuing with the poem and habit tracker pages. I was playing around with different ways to fix the way too small habit tracker page. And I finally came up with the shape that still hides behind the cover page when the page is closed. 
I decided to once again first draw in the art before painting so that I can paint it like it's a coloring book. For this art, I used an image on Pinterest of a mouse holding an umbrella as inspiration and I replaced the umbrella with a mushroom. I think it goes really well with the poem and the theme. The mushroom on top of the habit tracker is also from a photo off of Pinterest. I thought the snail hanging off of a mushroom was adorable. This month I have six habits that I will be tracking. I forgot to write them down, but I'm going to write each habit vertically next to each box and making an X on each day that I do that habit. For these mushrooms, I'm going for a mixture of brown and red colors. I'm painting the caps a burnt red color and the stalks brown with darker brown for the shadows. For the snail and grass, I'm using the same green color as on the previous pages. The umbrella mushroom is also a mixture of red, brown and brown paint. I'm adding the color to the mushroom cap and spreading the paint around. Now I'm also adding in clean water to the paint that's already on the paper. When you add clean water to paint that's still wet, it will most likely create an uneven gradient in the color. This is called cauliflowering or blue, the bloom effect. You might have noticed that I've been leaving some spots without paint. These are the little rain droplets that have fallen on the mushroom. Now that the paint is fully dry, I can add the light blue for the water droplets and the puddles of water on the ground. For the mouse, I want to create a flat wash. This means that there aren't any brush strokes visible. For me, this is a difficult technique to do. I should have used a bigger brush when painting the mouse to cover the area faster, but I still like how it turned out. For a proper flat wash, you want to make sure that you have enough paint and water on the brush to make sure that you can cover the entire area you want to paint as fast as possible without needing to add more water or more paint. Lastly, I'm adding some shadows to the mouse as well as the green grass the mouse is standing on. On the next pages, we have the weeklies. I've already planned out the drawings and weekly spreads so that I can get right into painting. For this mushroom painting, I'm not doing any line work. For the background, I'm using a blotching technique to create a blurry background. So I'm simply loading the brush with water and paint and randomly tapping on the paper, leaving some spots without paint. And the foreground will also be darker. So I'm using a darker color and repeating the same process. 
This is definitely a loose style of painting. The main point of this is to have a gradient of colors that blend together. Imagine squinting your eyes while looking at a scenery. Most of the paint has dried as I paint different sections, so next I want to add streaks of light, like the sun is shining through the treetop. So I am using a blotting technique. This is where you add clean water to an area and then blotting it up with a clean dry paper towel. The water reactivates the paint and then the paper towel removes it, leaving lighter lines. Using my white jelly roller pen, I'm adding some highlights to the edges of the mushroom and butterfly. And lastly, for some added details, I'm also adding a few blades of grass. This is definitely the most elaborate art I've done in a setup yet. Let me know if you like this style or if you prefer smaller paintings. I've already cut the Dutch door weeklies and now I'm using a corner cutter to round out all of the Dutch door corners. For the first week I'm setting up six sections, Monday to Friday and then the last section is for the weekend. At the bottom of this first page, I'm setting up a calendar to reference throughout the month. This calendar will be visible on any week. And at the top, I have a little note that says, Into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. At the back of the weeklies, I'm setting up my social media tracker and the background for the weeklies. I want to create a layered effect for the background with washi tape, stickers and some mushroom art. So I cut out the washi tape to fit right behind the weeklies and then I'm adding all the other elements on top. For the August header on the first page, I'm using a piece of scrap paper from my previous setup and using washi tape to hold it in place.
this setup really has been such an expression i haven't used watercolor in a while and it was nice to use it again but as you might have noticed i do enjoy using a lot of elements in my setup bordering on the tame side of junk journaling in my opinion for my final spread i am setting up my social media schedulers i have been using the same layout for a few months now and it works really well for me these kinds of spreads are very diverse and can easily be adapted for a study schedule or even a work task list really whatever you need to schedule or track finishing off this page with my last mushroom painting i'd like to thank you for watching my august setup if you have made it this far in my video please leave me a little mouse emoji in the comments down below so that we can confuse the others who weren't able to stick around remember to check out my free mushroom printable on Kofi in my description down below Thanks for watching and here is my final flip through for August. As always, I hope you have a very crafty day.